What's Crack? I'm Vangelina Scava, and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. Yes, I'm fully aware that Shane Dawson is doing things and is probably going to lose his channel. Jeffree Star is not doing things, which is making people talk a lot more, actually. And every YouTuber under the sun has decided that now is the time they all want to go crazy and be involved with every single drama possible, even ones that we didn't imagine. <laughs> and although I should probably be talking about those things, sometimes a little voice in my head says, hey, we're gonna do this today, and I just have to follow what it says. So what that voice told me is today we're going to be talking about other kin. So if you don't actually know what other kin is or are or who they are, what that is, what are you talking about? <laughs> other kin is an umbrella term for a group of people that think that they are not human. And of course within that you have a lot of different subgroups. They think they're dogs or cats or horses or angels, demons, and my personal favourite for reasons that I'll tell you a little bit later on is dragons. Now if you're wondering, there is also a name for the people that think that they're made-up creatures, not just cats and dogs. Those people go by fiction kin. Now I don't actually know much about these people, so to learn a little bit more I thought we would go to the best place to see everything weird and wacky on the internet. Tumblr. But before we actually get into the video, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. Thank you very much. So if you weren't already aware that there's a corner of the internet of people that think that they're sheep or mermaids or the weird one-eyed demon under my bed that whispers things to me at night, I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. It was a difficult thing for me to wrap my head around as well. I remember getting quite angry about it actually <laughs> and very confused. My only knowledge of other kin is the first time I heard about them, which was a screenshot of a Tumblr post about somebody telling people not to eat jewels, like not to eat their mother's jewels, even if they were dragons and it was their instinct to eat the jewels, but it could get them in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so don't do it. And I have to agree, don't eat jewels. Not just for the fact that you'll get in trouble, you you could die. Not very nutritional, and those are expensive. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. They're very, very expensive. So don't do that. And for some reason today, that screenshot popped into my head, so I just want to see what else they have to offer. And I also found out that you do not need a Tumblr account to go on Tumblr, so very happy about that. And I searched other kin, the first thing that came up for me was, do you know how cool being other kin actually is? Like we have souls that aren't even human. That's the equivalent to dating a demon, hugging an angel and being best friends with a fae. You're not really supposed to call them that, they don't really like that. <laughs> You're supposed to call them things like good neighbours or friends. <laughs> So get your facts straight, okay, sorry I'm being mean. If you're wondering why I know this, I'm I'm Irish, That that's it. <laughs> it's not something many people think of, but when you actually let it sink in, think of the amazing possibilities. You can debate with a galaxy incarnate. I think that's what I am. I think I'm a galaxy. That makes sense. Share drinks with a hellhound. <laughs> Pay for God's food. Hell, you could be the one to notice a spirit incarnate and become best friends with them. It's such an amazing idea, and so much better than spreading hate. You know what, I do have to agree with them. There is too much hate in the world, and it is a fantastic idea for a terrible teen novel. This is not real life. <laughs> I d I'm sorry, it's, it's not. You're not. You're not a hellhound or god. Or a galaxy incarnated as a human. Now, full disclosure, I'm one of those people that fully believes that anything is possible, because we don't understand anything about the universe, but this is one of those times where my brain is telling me, no, 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 <laughs> this one, not a thing. I think this might be my favorite post ever, just because it's tagged other kin, but it's not just applicable to other kin. This is applicable to everybody because right now, with all the drama going on on YouTube, this is how I feel. I'm ready to disappear into a forest to just f***ing screech. <laughs> Who wants to join me? Honestly, I, I can relate to that. Maybe I am other kin. Who knows? I arrive at church. Eyes black. Skin boiling. Mouth foaming. I am forcibly removed from the house of God. And this is tagged Demonkin. <laughs> yes, I am absolutely sure completely convinced that this did, in fact, happen. Your eyes went black, you started burning, started foaming at the mouth, and were forcibly removed from a church, not taken to a hospital. That definitely happened. <laughs> oh my god. 
I, I was just scrolling and I found the best post. So this is tagged Otherkin and it says, if anyone's ever been interested in a case study where a kid is raised by an Otherkin family, then look no further, that unfortunate bitch is me. This isn't actually a case study that I thought I was interested in, but that's because I never considered it. Now I'm very interested. And I got 22 years worth of cringe to share with everyone. So to start off, my white as f mom dead ass thinks she's a kitsune and raised me with the idea that everyone in the house is magic. My aunt's a fairy cat anthro. My uncle is a bat anthro angel cyborg who is mayor of an alternate dimension where anime and video game people are real. And when my mom remarried someone gullible enough to join in on the madness, the fucker became a pony. <laughs> oh dear, this is already too much for my brain. Please don't click off the video. <laughs> All of this is perpetually treated with some smug, forced whimsy, as if we were the protags, oh, protagonists, of some wacky YA urban fantasy novel where we all have to keep our family's magical status a f***ing secret from the rest of the world, and especially Child Protective Services, <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> I wonder why especially them. Mom was especially vocal about her astral plane husbands, and half-sibling I had due to them. So she's just openly cheating on her horse husband with her astral plane husband. Well, I guess it's not cheating if everybody's okay with it. Still, bit of a weird situation you got going there. For some context, my fam was straight out of a divorce, and I was a lonely kid who felt so hurt and miserable that mom was doing all of this, pretending to have successful and happy marriages elsewhere, with magical children who I wanted so desperately to actually say hi to. But of course, I couldn't. I always felt the cognitive dissonance of agreeing to what they were saying while being painfully aware of how reality was nothing like it. I'm I'm trying to figure out here if this was just like the mother's fun way of coping or if she actually believed this and really did need mental help. Because there's the only options here are that it's like a fun little story and you know it's not real or you genuinely need professional mental health. There, there's no in between. <laughs> the toxic delusional environment was maintained by a lot of cringe things, like the time my uncle would say that he saw me visiting his other universe's city and me, young and wanting to be involved, nodded in agreement and whinged a story on the spot I thought he'd like about what I was doing there. Holy hell. So this isn't just some innocent little thing that we can all go, oh look, these people are a little bit wanting to be special. No, this is actual there are problems. There are serious problems. Right, well, that was um, very depressing, and I'd like to move back to the, the crazy stuff, if that's okay with you guys. Honestly, a lot of this is just sort of aesthetic pictures and quotes like, heaven is in you, darling, but <laughs> every now and again you get one like, my manager, oh, don't worry about it, it's just a mistake, we're all human. <laughs> me, sweating. Of course. <laughs> absolute gem happens to me all the time. But there are also some very useful tips on other kin tumblr. For example, if you're a vampire and you're a little bit stressed, you just need some, some good old self-care. But since you're a vampire, you want to feel like you're bathing in blood. But, but here's the kicker, you don't actually want to bathe in blood because that's legal. You can just get a red bath bomb that has the word blood in the name. I know, it's perfect. And some very nice person went to the trouble of even showing you all of these and making a list of red bath bombs with blood in the name. And prices started just $3.99, by the way. That's pretty good. But of course, you also got to get some romance in there. So here we have reasons why we should date angels, because that's something that we've all done at least once. It's on my bucket list of things to try is angel. <laughs> Unless you're a demon, <laughs> in which case... No, no, they can, they, they did that in the Bible, right? Yeah, they definitely did that in the Bible. That was a thing. So yeah, anybody can date an angel. <laughs> Here they say, date an angel. Date someone with six wings, two covering their face, two covering their feet, and two on their back. A warrior sword drawn, ready to defend their father. Like God or their actual dad? And why is their dad getting in so many fights that they need to carry a sword at all times? Date someone with four wings, covered in eyes, no two eyes blink at the same time, and if you're pretty sure they haven't seen at least half of them blink, they are a spy. They are ready to defend their home. Sorry, this gave me like nightmare vibes. Like imagine you 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 go up for like imagine you're at a nice restaurant, at a table, candles lit, and just all their eyes are blinking at different times. Date an angel. Date someone with six wings, eyes everywhere. They lift their wings up and you find more eyes. <laughs> They reek of holiness, nauseating to the point where you can't be within 10 feet of them if you aren't an angel yourself. What 
does holiness smell like? Probably frankincense. I'm gonna say frankincense. I think frankincense is quite a nice smell. I don't think it would bother me. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely gonna be look out for an angel. So if anybody in the comments is one, um, don't hit me up. You have too many eyes and it will creep me out. I have a problem with eyes. Let's move on. Here's another blog called Other Kin and Therian Experiences. And the first post here says, when your wings come out while you're in the shower and there's suddenly not enough room for you to comfortably turn in said shower. The first thing this reminds me of is, if you've seen Black Swan, she is so sleep deprived, overworked and underfed that she starts to hallucinate. And one of the things that she hallucinates is that she actually grows wings. So if these people actually believe this stuff, they are hallucinating. But I'm inclined to believe that they're just making it up because they want to feel special. Who am I to say though? I mean, have you ever been in the shower and your wings suddenly pop up? And also, if your wings suddenly pop up in the shower, would that not mean that you have little bit of control over them, not that much control, and sometimes they pop up unexpectedly? So why then have I never been walking down the street? and seeing somebody's wings appear. I feel like I'm asking this and somebody is gonna write in the comments like, oh my God, don't you know that like humans can't see the wings because it's like the glamor from mortal instruments? I don't know. <laughs> oh dear, you'll find an excuse for anything, won't you? Okay, let's, let's get through this sentence. I am very princess-like and soft-spoken in how I dress and present myself. So when I tell someone that I'm kin with a cockroach, they always seem quite shocked. Insect kin are cute too. I don't have much to say about that other than the fact that I love that insect kin is a thing. I would really love to read like a full psychological investigation into people like this, into people that are in other kin communities and why they feel the need to do this, why they feel like they need to be a part of one of these communities. In my own opinion, it seems, you know, the same as religion or flat earth theory. Whereas the people that get involved with this stuff just are unfulfilled in their own life or feel like they're searching for something. So they reach out to whatever seems the most interesting to them, whatever makes them feel the most special and the most purposeful. Nobody really wants to believe that life is meaningless. Everybody wants to think that they were put here for a purpose, which is why I think people gravitate towards stuff like this. It makes them feel like their life is more than just a blip in an entire universe, maybe even multiverse. It just makes them feel like they exist. And as sad as that is, it's still really funny. So <laughs> I might do um, more Tumblr videos, deep dives into Tumblr, if you will. I think it would be fun, so let me know if you want to see more of these. And of course, let me know what you think about other kin and fiction kin and all the other subtypes that it has. Anyway guys, I better end this video here because my human form is starting to disintegrate and I will need to go back into my form as just a ball of light and energy that comes from the Orion star system. So that's going to be it for me for now. As I said at the start of the video, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And you can also follow me on social media. I'm sorry, Tumblr is not one of those social medias. <laughs> like, comment, share, do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video. And have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.